Hello everyone and welcome back to another The Ace Talk Show radio style. You know what to do, just watch or click on the video and listen on in, either while you're playing the game or just browsing on that. And uh, for today's topic we're going to be talking pretty much about the 07 server and some other uh, related topics around that. And with me today I got uh, a guest, a uh, guest named Tigger. Hi. So, Tigger, that's your old name. Are, are you going to be switching that back? Being you got a different name, or? Yeah, I'm going to switch it back on the 11th. All right, cool. Um, on the old 7 servers and, and how it came to be and the votes and stuff like that, w what do you have to, to say about it? I don't have a problem with the server itself. I just have a problem with Jagex's past it not being able to keep their word and that it most likely will end up affecting the current game. Oh, how low, like how they said that it wouldn't affect uh, the EOC server or, well, the regular main game, but yet we've already seen the impact that it has had by splitting the community, game lag, and chat lag, stuff like that. Yeah, well, not split in the community they can't do, do anything with that um uh, i can't really prove it but um more or less the uh the new quest that's supposed to be coming out in under an hour um that they said that it wouldn't affect the 2k13 scape and it might have but it also might have been some new skill or something that they were working on right so they delayed basically the updates for the regular game instead of allowing it to go through like it should have yeah now what about this whole vote system do you really think that now that I mean players have whined they complained they ranted do you really think that now that they've allowed this to happen twice now in the game uh, of RuneScape that more players are just going to start ranting and raving and quit membership and stuff like that if there's something they don't like or do you think they'll actually do as they always have or break it down more like the first time they had a vote was because we had so many players rage quit over the free trade or balance trade coming in the game which resulted in removal of the uh the wildy do you think uh, beans they gave in to people ranting and raving about that or whining about that, rage quitting about that, that uh, like a little kid throwing temper tantrum, do you think this will be a continued trend when players don't like something? I would hope not, but I honestly don't think they brought back um, free trade because players were being little kids. I think they, I think they brought it back because they didn't want to affect the game as much as they had with balance trade because there was players that would give their friends money to trade and such and they couldn't because of balance trade and they just didn't want to affect the gameplay as much as they did to mess with bots i guess right basically it was mainly for the bots and jagex did state they were going to bring it back in the proper timing but they wanted to make sure they had a handle on it but from what i've seen in the past year with the wildy and uh the trade aspect that they only really started to do the vote or chose to do a vote because there was so many players that did rage quit or whatnot well i i don't pay attention no i can't pay attention to how many players have subscriptions still but i didn't really notice a difference in the amount of players in game right i mean well that's of course something i always uh pay attention to as you know my gaming status uh now that you know it did that the wildy type vote thing did go in action and a lot of players did you know they did rage quit they did rant and rave about it and then when they did bring it back a lot of us vet players of course said that you know hey you shouldn't have brought it back because look at how it destroyed the the whole gaming community i mean gambling came back scamming came back uh do you think maybe there could have been a different method they could have used not not 
really. I mean, they, in all honesty, they could have kept the balance straight, just rose to rose the limits, um, and brought the wilderness back, but kept balance straight. But other than if if you put all of it into one big group, not really. But if you separate the wilderness balance trade and GE limits, etc., and put them individually, there's a lot they could have done differently. Right, and the main reason all they it, that particular vote got so many votes, or got so many people that wanted it back because they didn't know the impact that a unbalanced trade that that was being allowed, the free trade. They didn't know for sure how it affected the game. And that's why that vote definitely succeeded way more than what was being looked at. But I mean, that was that was more towards like the first step of now what happened with so many players seeing that, hey, if we rant, rave, and rage quit, we'll get what we want. And that led into this another, another vote, basically. They did it again. They... They ran and raved, they rage quit, just so they could get another vote for the 07 servers. Or get some sort of retro game back into RuneScape. Well, from the player's perspective, ranting, raving, and rage quitting, etc. Give, makes Jagex notice that players want something that isn't there. And it's not really the ranting, raving, and rage quitting that makes Jagex do it. Because if the players were rage quitting and ranting because they wanted to play, because they wanted to blow, turn the wilderness into a bright green place full of farms and people, it just wouldn't happen. But if they're ranting and rage quitting about something like 07 Skate that's doable, they look at it from the money perspective and say, "We can do this. Let's do it." Because they are a company and they are there to make money. Right on a on a company base. Um, why? What I don't I really understand is how players don't really get to use the site as much as they should. They don't really uh, post their opinions and what they would rather like better than uh, like the main aspect for this 07 server is. Majority of the players voted for the 07 server just because they didn't like the evolution of combat, the EOC. Do you think that was the main draw for the 07 server, or was it just because players wanted that nostalgia back? Both, actually. I'm going to say both, because I know a couple of people that like EOC, but like 07 as well. Not because the combat is different, but because they... I don't know why, but they like playing the game when it like it was in 07 where everything was hard and there wasn't very much content. Copy I, I just stick to calling them crazy because it's weird. Right. I get players ask me all the time why I don't play the 07 server and I always end up replying to them that it's because I have no need. I mean, I've got the ability to use the better graphics, so I mean that's a whole lot easier on the eyes. And I still play RuneScape as if it was 07 anyways, or 05 through 07, you know, before the Grand Exchange. I don't generally use the Grand Exchange or whatever to buy my items to skill with. That and the only thing really that's changed for me from that type of gaming to the game that we have now, the current version, the EOC, is the combat. That's the only thing that's changed for me. You know, graphics-wise, I actually think they're a whole lot smoother. They're a lot better. I've got a computer that can handle it. Um, maybe that's a key thing. Do you think maybe it, it does relate to uh, players having a computer that can handle the graphics? That's with every game. There's people that play games because they're pretty, and there's people that play games because they like the game. And for the people that play games that because they're pretty, they tend to need a good computer or they'll end up playing something ugly. <laughs> but um, other than that, the people that like to play a game because it's pretty usually end up playing a game like a WoW or some kind of spaceship game. Like I'm just going to go with it and say EVE Online because I like EVE Online. Right. I mean, the only, the, like I said, the only difference between the current version of EOC and the 07 is, is graphics for one. Of course, that's a gimme. And uh, 
other than that, the current game, the only thing you're actually forced to do that you have really not a true option on is the combat. And I don't see why that would be a major issue if, you know, granted the combat needs balanced out, but I always thought, or I would think, that players that enjoy the game want to make the game better than what it is, instead of just rage quitting on, you know, because it's not perfect when it first comes out, that they would go on forums and try to get supporters on ways to fix it to make it better in a long run. And a lot of the players I've chatted to in the clan chats or friend chats or or otherwise mainly want the 07 server from what I've heard from them was because of the combat. And that is where you are wrong when it comes to people on the internet. A lot of the people on the internet, there's the people that know why they don't like something and give reasons why they don't like it. And then there's the huge party bus behind them that don't like something because a lot of other people don't like it. And they generally don't have reasons troll because they don't like something, even though it's the, even though they don't have any reasons why they don't like it. It's not really a it's not really a con uh, the combat problem. It's the huge party bus of people not liking EOC for no reason. And it's because if they actually tried it enough to realize that all you have to do is push like six basic abilities and hit momentum for the next 20 minutes use momentum once for the next 20 minutes they wouldn't really care it's like seven extra buttons right and in forums well when i read through that a lot of the uh ranters ravers or the rage quitters that you know got rid of their membership all um, a lot of those players were basing it on the pk aspect they said pk's dead you can't pk no more uh and then in general basically it come down to PKing and then of course you did have some of the players that just wanted nostalgia they wanted to be able to go back to that game um I won't comment on PKing well because I don't PK ever so I don't really have any giveable input on that right I mean a lot of a lot of players I've been into uh well I was in Pierre's friend chat while he was uh ranked number 1 trying to help get him so, some support to help him maintain that rank number 1 of course it's really hard to do when you're not a, a famous YouTuber or you don't already have player fame so to speak to uh help support someone as the other higher ranks have but when I was sitting in Pierre's friend chat while he was uh, trying to keep that rank one, a lot of players, you know, they went to the 07 server and they were like, hey, this is great. We got a lot of veteran mature players here. You don't have to deal with all these, you know, negative people or, or whatever. And then, of course, that came out to be very untrue. I mean, the trolls would just start spamming. Everybody would start swearing left and right. And, and aspects like that, that were, it's, it's pretty sad, actually. If they expected people, if they expected all of the veteran mature players to go to the 07 server and none of the trolls, well, they should just go back to the nut gallery to begin with. Right, and that's what I was trying to tell them in the, in the, the friend chat or the clan chat in the 07 server. I'm like, yeah, well, maybe at first you might look like there's a whole bunch of mature players that know how to play, that played it, but then again, yeah, you'll see there's just as many asses out there <laughs> as there is in the current game. It, it doesn't matter which server you're on. It never will. It doesn't really matter what game you're on, to be honest. Every game you play, that, that even the ones that are heavily chat-moderated, will have the assholes in it who know how to get around the chat filter and know how to insult people without breaking any of the game's rules. Right. And you can't really avoid jackasses in any game. Right. I mean, that's where the, the clans come in and stuff like that. You get a group of players that know how to joke around, that know how to uh, interact with each other, and just overall enjoy the game regardless. Yeah. 
That's true, except for that most, a lot of the FCs that people are in, at least the ones that random people join, just don't really have, aren't really there for people to talk to each other. If you want to join an FC full of friendly people, you're just going to have to be friends with someone that's in one and join it with them. Because a lot of the FCs that are full of people that are friends with each other are just friends. Right. Do you think the 07 will remain to be pretty popular yet, or will in three months down the road, do you think everybody's going to realize that, you know, hey, we had our fun with the nostalgia, but yet, you know, we'd rather play the current version? I think after a while, the people are, uh, the 07 server is going to end up like the classic server with just a couple hundred people playing it max because people are just going to get tired of the lack of content or the content that they like that isn't on the 07 server. Right. And like I tried telling other players, I'm like, if you really want to uh, be, well, how should I say that? You make the game, you play the game the way you want to. I mean, as I said before, the, the current version of the game, the EOC, the only thing that you're kind of forced to do is the combat aspect you know you're kind of forced to use the those abilities you know or momentum you lost your special attack you lost 100 percent per protect except for in uh doing jed it's still 100 percent 100 percent per protect while you're doing jed but uh it's it's always just an option i mean you can choose to use the grand exchange or you can choose not to I mean, an 07 server, it's more or less you have only one way to do it and just deal with it. I disagree, but I don't disagree with what you're saying. I disagree with the internet logic of it that people really aren't going to care whether if it's your, you can do it this, you can do it more than one way. They just don't like the idea of it and they will basically just they'll basically just reject it because it's change and people generally dislike change in itself even if they don't say they do just the fact that eoc is a change is a reason a bunch of people will probably reject it until they try it and realize it's a lot better in my opinion at least anyway i heard the phone do you think the game overall would be better if people would just plain old post their likes and dislikes, if they would actually put more detailed in forums to uh, make everything better? Or do you think the method of uh, them just rage quitting or ranting and raving, not really giving details, uh, is going to be the trend like it has been? Well, if you're talking about game improvements, you don't really need to improve the game because the game's not the problem. If you want to make the game better, you would just they would just need to enforce probably slightly stricter chat moderation rules and basically make it a little bit harder for bots to be ass not bots, trolls to be assholes. Because the game's not really the problem, it's the amount of asshole players who just like to piss other people off and be useless and trolls right right and of course you know being the internet community everybody likes to hide behind their screen basically so they think they can just be an ass and not have any negative response to it or be able to get away with it basically well it's not really think they can get away with it they can definitely get away with it unless they piss off some random really good hacker who doesn't who doesn't really just try to get someone on skype to fish their ip or something right and then even nowadays that's you know you can't really do that with the uh the jag security system that they've added yeah, which is why I said they would have to have pissed off a really, really good hacker. Someone that could not just hack their RuneScape password, hack everything about their account and change it just to annoy them. Right. Now, did you play back in the old, the 07, the original 07? Uh, I made my account almost eight years ago and I played on and off almost every year except for since then. 
except for maybe one year. I forget which one though, but I played in 07. Uh, I played before the Grand Exchange. Right. Although I can't really I remember the Slayer release. I don't remember a Slayer, them releasing the Slayer skill. Yeah, that might have been one of the times that you were off for a, a period of time or whatnot. But uh, yeah, I started back in 05, got members in 06. And uh, is there anything that you remember from playing back then that you think if there was enough players, you know, now having the ability to play the 07 server, are there aspects that maybe players that do like the 07 server and also the EOC, do you think there are things that we can uh, maybe suggest for the game overall to go back and look to as far as the way you play 07 now, the, the you know, nostalgia version, and the EOC now, do you think players could make an impact by suggesting certain fixes by using the relation of the two? Um... No, not really, and well, it's my opinion, I don't know about anybody else, but in my opinion, the problems with both the current game and the 07 version aren't really anything that Jack X can fi fix unless they go around to every RuneScape player's house and turn them into an obedient person that doesn't act like an ass because they can. Because it's definitely not anything it's definitely not the content that earns the game at the moment. It's bots, well, uh, just basically bots and trolls. And you can, some people would throw gambling into that just because it causes so much drama, but it's not really the gambling that causes the drama. It's the emotional people con conversating with trolls that does that. Right, so basically it still always comes down to the players because if it wasn't for the players, there wouldn't be the bots. And if it wasn't for the players, there wouldn't be the gambling, the scamming, and the trolls, and the, well, let's just say the overall asses on the game. Yeah, there's nothing that Jagex can do to the game. It, there's nothing that Jagex could do to RuneScape to make it. Well, there's plenty that they could do to make it better, but there's nothing they could do that would make it more enjoyable. If you were to change things in the current game, the EOC version, would you, is there any certain thing that you would fix or change? Yes, but only one. I would, and well, the protection prayers, I think they are fine, but I would, in all honesty, I would make stats matter for combat instead of just the the stats that you need to use the item involved because at least for melee combat the only stat that really matters is strength because it raises your max hit in all honesty I would just have like the old game was except different I would have strength raise your max hit attack raise your weapons accuracy and defense raise your to your total defense points your total defense for each skill for each attack style rather right because right. At, at the moment the only thing the only thing that really matters to get to 99 is strength because it raises your max hit the only thing that really ma doesn't matter for defense because you'll need all you need is the defense level for the armor you're using and the attack level for the weapon you're using but if they made attack raise the weapon's accuracy like it passively did pre-EOC and defense raise your resistance to attacks like it did before EOC passively, maybe at all. But um, if they made those matter again, then it would be a lot better. Well, if they did that, do you think they would have to actually use the attack and the strength aspect to be in relation with all three combat styles, not just being based on the melee of the attack and the strength. Well, I don't know about magical accuracy, and I don't use range anymore because I despise it. Now that I have 99, I don't need to use it anymore. But magic, I'm pretty sure magic level raises your magic damage. I'm not entirely sure about magical accuracy. And, well, if it 
raised your magical damage and accuracy, it's fine. It wouldn't really matter. I don't know if the level rose your magical accuracy and pre uh, pre EOC though. I just know it rose your damage and the skills you could use. Right. Yeah. See, I always suggested when uh, the EOC first came out that they should have just. Uh, Combine some of them, combine something or other. I can't remember how I worded it in forums, but they should have had attack and strength be related to all three aspects of the combat style, and then your melee range attack would be just relation to uh, the weapon types that you can learn to use, basically. That way, your attack strength and your defense was all on a balanced you know, note saying that, hey, if I know how to defend, you know, I got a defense level of, you know, 80, then I know how to defend against melee range and attack, not being based on, you know, like magic. If you got 90 magic, well, then your defense for magic also was boosted, and then your strength and your attack was all, is also boosted by the weapon type and, of course, your level. I mean, to me, it just seems kind of really not as detailed as it should be. Well, I agree and I disagree. I I agree. Oh, I agree with that. They should have put more thought into EOC, but I disagree with having attack strength and defense affect anything else. If anything, I just think that attack because melee has three different skills and defense affects all three. Many thing attack should affect a melee weapon accuracy, strength melee weapon, max hit, and then range should, range and magic should just affect both accuracy and max hit, along with the obviously the weapon accuracy and max hit that goes with the weapon. Right, right. Maybe it's something that they will look at later on. Again, you know, that's that's where the forums comes in handy when you get players that really know the combat system, really have tried out different aspects of it. Uh, as one of your other clan mates, uh, GW, shout out to him, uh, has been doing a lot of research on the aspects of the different hits, you know, the different stats and, and stuff like that. Maybe they will correct some of that stuff later on, and the more detailed players can get, the better off the game will be for all, all all three type of combats. Well, there's no doubt that they will eventually fix it when it gets brought up, but um, it because they said that even though the EOC is released and it's an actual part of the game now and not just a beta, they still said they're making improvements to make it what it can be and not just what it is. Although they didn't use those exact words. Is there anything that you'd really want to bring up as far as part of the topic of, you know, being the 07, the EOC, uh, anything on that aspect? Anything I'd like to bring up? Yeah. Any Not really. I don't, I don't play the 07 server. I don't know how it is, but just the... I don't really know if it's a problem with the people who expected 07 to not have bots and expected the people to be nice on 07. Well, then they shouldn't have voted because they're completely not smart. I don't want to say dumb because that's an insult. Well, I mean, the truth is the truth. I mean, you do have, uh, you're always going to have the trolls and let's say the, uh, I'll say it, the dumb players out there that just don't know how to grow up and they want to be all stupid. It's true, and there's not much you can do about it. Even switching servers won't help. Right. Now, do you actually have you do you have a lot of uh, fellow clan mates or, or friends that actually do play on the O seven? Do you chat to, or do you, most of your friends seem to understand or or like the way the game is currently going? To be honest. Um, I think there's a bunch of people in my clan that play the 07 server, but I don't have all the people in my clan on on my friends list, so I wouldn't know if they're just logging off or went to go play 07. Yeah, when, do, do they make any comments about uh, when they're playing on 07, or do they just pretty much keep themselves when they're on 07? 
uh, when they're on 07, they don't really say anything, but when they get off 07, they say it's fun for about an hour, but then it starts to get boring, and they come back to playing the real game, regular game, rather. Right. Was there any certain aspect that you liked the most back uh, in 07, or do you like uh, just the way the game is now, preferably? Or... Uh, I don't know. I mean, Everything that was in the 07 server, except for the old combat style, is still in game. So there's not really anything I would change because I like both styles of combat, but I prefer EOC because it entertains me more and I don't get bored out of my mind during Slayer tasks because I get to button mash the entire task. Right, right. Yeah, that's one thing I always tend to tell players, too. They ask me why I'm not playing. I'm like, well, nothing's really changed for me, like I said earlier. I mean, and definitely, like you said, the uh, Slayer task, or even if you're just PVMing, I mean, there's times you can, in the old style combat, you could literally fall asleep and not realize it. And now, uh, with the current version, the EOC, you tend to pay more attention i mean you do have the auto attack that is always happening and you don't have to button mash or push buttons or click on the abilities to do the combat as we said before with momentum so i mean yeah i myself too enjoy the eoc a whole lot more because i find myself not dozing off while trying to do a do a task or do some kills for an item now with the the player's that don't really understand the EOC, do you think if they understood it more, do you think they would actually enjoy it more? Or do you think that the the whole idea of uh, having the abilities or whatnot is just the, the complete turnoff for them? Well, for the people that still play EOC but don't like the new combat style, I really think they just haven't given it a chance and just don't like change in general. And if they would give it a chance they would like it more yeah there's been uh when the eoc was released to live game i mean i had of course you know with my game status i had a lot of players come up to me ranting and raving but the moment i helped them out and took them through the tutorial they definitely i mean i went through probably a hundred people I mean, I was online, it was during my days off, so I was online for 10 to 12 hours, and probably, I would have to say, 75%, if not more, of those players that I showed and explained it to them, you know, one-to-one -one in the game, changed their mind about it. Do you think now that 07 and EOC is open to all members, you know, no extra fee, do you think more players will realize or actually open their eyes to see what the EOC has to offer? Or do you think they're just going to want to stay in their 07? Um, I'm honestly not sure. would probably vary with every person. I'm pretty sure the people who are only playing because they have the old game nostalgia thing going on will probably come back to EOC after they have their... Uh, hippie fix. Sorry, it's sort of a bad term considering a lot of hippies were drug addicts, but um, uh, that for those people, they'll probably come back to EOC. For the people who just really don't have tried EOC and just don't like it, they'll probably stay unless Jack X gets really money hungry and starts making them pay more for uh, the old game, which I think I saw on the home page that there's not going to be any extra fees for six months for the 07 server. But for the people who just don't like EOC, they won't come back. The people who are nostalgic will come back and the people who went to play it to get away from bots and trolls will realize they were stupid and come back. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, you're correct. It's for six months. Uh, as long as the numbers stay up high, only for six months, it'll it'll be uh, no fee. Uh, the numbers stay up high, then they'll they'll keep it open for another you know time frame or whatnot. Or I don't know if they're gonna set it to permanently be no extra fee. But uh, yeah, yeah, like you said, if they they thought that it was gonna be one way, it's definitely not gonna be like that. 
Now, with uh, a lot of vet players being on the 07, do you think that when they do vote for different game updates, uh, just from you know playing the game and knowing the community on the game, do you think there's going to be enough players to vote for the best of RuneScape there is to offer? Or is there going to be, do you think there's going to be more of the troll uh, whiner type players that want the easy version of RuneScape on the 07 server? Well, that's a hard question. You say players, but that doesn't take into account the number of bots that undoubtedly voted for the 07 server to have more places to gold farm and sell gold. But um, if you take into account the number of bots and players that play, well, there's definitely a hellacious amount more bots and whiny players to outvote the players who want to play the game for a challenge and not just have an easy way to excel at everything. So if there's between the bots that want everything easy and the players that want everything easy, there's definitely a lot more of those votes than the votes for people who want actual content. All right, so basically it's still going to be down to the players. Uh, as long as they don't buy gold or real-world trade, then the bots won't have any reason to exist. Um, and, of course, you're going to have the bots that, of course, are player-made and only player-used. So, yeah, it could go both ways as far as what I see. But it'd definitely be nice, from my point of view... I think I would actually start playing 07 if the game content did stay true to the harder game. The one that, that you and I got addicted to because it was so hard. I mean, if what they have now is the 07 server, I, I'm not even sure that they should even update it per se. I think they should put all the stuff that was there during 07 and leave it at that. that because people wanted the 07 server and they didn't want a whole new game. So they should just make the game the 07 server and leave it to the stuff that was in 07. Right, with the with the VAT players, a lot more players having knowledge of how to use the site and how to use farms and stuff like that. Do you think the Granite Exchange and the 07 server is actually going to be nothing more than base? well actually I should reword that. Now that with the vet players, a lot more being in the 07 server, knowing how to use forums, do you think the forums for the 07 will end up being the Grand Exchange, or are players actually going to do the DIY like it was meant to be? Um, well, even in the in 07, the player, players used both, but people did the DIY because back then, although countless people disagree with me on this, because it was not really a uh, what an item was worth and what and what how much it how much it cost to make it was how much it cost how much it can cost you to make and how much you can sell it for and how little can you buy the materials to make it for. It wasn't really a cost to make price to sell thing. It was a uh, what you can sell it for, not what it's worth. Like it, before the grand exchange is what it was like that. In other words, there was more variation of actual prices because the players made the prices and the lowest price didn't sell first like it does on the grand exchange. Right. Yeah. And it was per world, not every world in one. Right. With the, uh, with the old school forums though, do you think that that will basically make the prices instead of being the world to world variation or will it be do you think the players will still keep to the uh, world to world variation of prices they will undoubtedly keep to the world world variation of prices with some exceptions although I'm not entirely sure all right, thank you all for listening on in. We've uh, covered quite a few topics. Uh, we covered some of the 07, some of the EOC. So, yeah, if you liked listening into this video and you want to be a guest, the description is going to be down below. Uh, you click on that to uh, read what to do to be a guest on the show or contact me in game. I, I now use uh, Skype and also Raid Call 
to uh, do the shows. So those are two formats. Uh, you'd be welcome to join me on to uh, do record, show recording. But uh, anyways, it's been nice having you on here, Tigger. Uh, hope we can do another show later on. Okay. Until next time, everyone, have fun and good luck.